टाइप प्री रीनल वर्सेस इंट्रेंसिक रीनल फेल्यूर डिफरेंसेस वी नीड टू नो व्हाट इफ मैं प्री रीनल फेल्यूर डिक्रीज ब्लड फ्लो टू द किडनी बट ट्यूब्यूल्स आर इंटैक्ट सो दे विल रिटेन द सोडियम एंड वाटर If the water is retained because of an intact tubule in a pre-renal failure, what will happen? There is no water in the urine. Hence, urinary osmolarity will increase. So, urine osmolarity more than 500 means it is pre-renal failure. Fractional excretion of the sodium less than 1% means sodium is retained, tubules are intact. Hence, it is pre-renal. is what you are going to ultimately remember doctor shoot me answer where do you find complicated cataract excellent polychromatic luxure bread crumb appearance thymectomy improves the outcome in case of the myasthenia gravis there should be an alteration in the frame of the question option b and c both of them are seen in uh, myasthenia so we should remove ptosis and put bebinski which is not seen and make diplopia as answer some repair is required right even our online students say complicated cataract small pupil is a feature of tabes dorsalis home side is third nerve palsy they all lead to dilated pupil huh third nerve third nerve dilated no doubt uh what is home side it's called myotonic pupil poorly responsive to the light along with neurological features like eryflexia the combination is called the holmes adi pupil is what need to be remembered seasonal circadian rhythm is important in uh, depression typically seasonal depressive disorders are very common between november and resolve in march you know what is the significance of the date of neat exam before the onset of your seasonal depression we want to conduct a neat exam because we don't want depressed people to answer the exam right so and after writing exam if you get depression don't accuse neat you accuse seasonal circadian rhythm disorder middle aged women partial complex seizures smells the odor of a rubber burning typically is a hallucination originating from the temporal lobe olfactory hallucination now whenever without any history of schizophrenia if somebody is experiencing the delusions think of any substance abuse did he or she has gone to a rave party and had a little inhalation of the cocaine and uh, is it the problem 32 year old chronic psychiatric receiving treatment found galactoria galactoria is very common in the people who take neuroleptic medications which lead to hyperprolactinemia you know dopamine is an inhibitor of prolactin production anything dopamine antagonism will lead to excess prolactin production which lead to galactoria unduly after exposing to a commercial sex worker painless ulcer with everted margins painless painful you know the differences let me vouch you doctor you will remember me while answering in the exam hall one question will be there on granuloma inguinale lingual granuloma venerum chancroid uh, syphilis you must know these uh, five major sexually transmitted diseases how will be the ulcers painful painless limpid number the present or not if it is present painful or painless everything 100% you should be sure when you go to the exam hall pemphigus vulgaris bullus pemphigoid what is the main difference 
you don't need to wait here and there look here and there age you look 56 elderly man means it is bullous femphigoid young person means femphigus vulgaris old age lower extremity always points to the diagnosis of bullous femphigoid is what need to be remembered erythrasma corynebacterium ninusitum and coral red inflorescence you won't forget impedigo folliculitis ectima any of them can lead to development of pyoderma should be an answer huh mm that's good i think uh, ophthalmology you're all uh, recently studied i think huh so homocystinuria inferior marfan is superior marcazani wheels is anterior is what need to be remembered this question needs some repair we should say option d has diurnal variations of the secretion of aldosterone lost then this becomes correct answer that is what happens in acute uh, injury stress now you have a complete transection of the common bile duct if the patient is unstable place a t tube and uh, repair it later if he is stable then you perform a rooks and why biliary enteric bypass which is considered to be the management of choice it is 1 mm per day is the rate at which the nerve will be growing after an injury glasgow coma scale you all know altered sensorium is one of the earliest manifestations flail chest means what multiple ribs are simultaneously broken so there is a paradoxical respiration at the time of inspiration instead of intercostal space bulging out it will be sucked in at the time of expiration instead of sucked in it will be bulge out paradoxical uh, breathing pattern tracheostomy in a good number of times is indicated in the management of the flail chest difficulty to flex the three radial digits where do you find this very typical of median nerve injury and uh, median nerve is the one which supplies the pronator muscles of the forearm and also the thenar muscles and it is also very important sensory innervation median nerve hence it is called the eye of the hand eye of the hand and laborer nerve musicians is alar nerve now whenever you are suspecting in trauma genito urinary injury that's right everybody answered our homocystinuria question anantapur and uh, varangal now iv pilogram is one of the very early investigations that you need to basically perform now whenever there is a pancreatic trauma it is pancreas is a retroperitoneal organ the same trauma will injure the vessels and lead to exsanguinating bleed which is mainly responsible for the development of the mortality predominantly medullary carcinoma of thyroid fio together exist like a multiple endocrine neoplasia hence you should always evaluate for the other markers of the men syndrome also now after thyroidectomy thyroid storm can occur which can be prophylactically prevented by giving lugol iodine before hand there is an anterior neck mass and there is a decreased radioactive iodine uptake it's very consistent with which possibility typically of uh, carcinoma out of all this and unlike toxic adenoma graves which produce hyperthyroidism carcinoma doesn't produce hyperthyroidism it presents like an euthyroid state is what we have to ultimately remember cystosarcoma fillots what do you want to do 
a wide local excision with a rim of normal tissue is what you have to basically remove. If there is an intermittent thin milky discharge from the nipple, it is always physiological. So you must know how to interpret pathological, physiological and galactoria. How do we differentiate the different secretions of the breast? Now, a insulinoma patient, insulinoma is also a part of the spectrum of men disorders, men syndromes. So, same people can have hyperparathyroidism with hypercalcemia, hence calcium level should also be evaluated. The more the age, the more the predisposition to the breast cancer. 5 centimeters, clinically positive, movable, ipsilateral lymph node, no metastasis. You don't like also, you have to remember breast cancer staging. Definitely one question will come which will become bottleneck in the entrance. So doctor, I leave to you the literature. What is the size criteria? 2 centimeters or less is T1, 2 to 5 is T2, more than 5 is T3, extending to the skin is T4, if you know only T's that is not enough, you must know N and M, even if you know T and M it is not enough, how to combine them to make it stage 1, 2, 3, 4 you must know, even if you know that is not enough, because at that time if you don't remember, so, be sure how to remember. You can only remember if you plan to remember very few things. If you try to remember too many things, that's the most important thing to remember. Okay. Now, Doc, there is a carcinoid. Once more, how do you manage carcinoid? If the tumor is less than 1 centimeter, you can leave it. It won't metastasize. More than two can be metastatic. If it is single metastatic, then you can do hepatic wedge resection along with bubble. But if it is multiple metastasis, nothing to do, don't touch liver, but still operate on intestine because it can lead to intestinal obstruction. So you don't want it. So even if multiple metastases are there, still colon cancer or a GIT cancer rule is you need to resect it to provide a, a path for the fecal output, that is very important. Biopsy was done, 1 centimeter breast mass, 49 year old, comedo carcinoma. How do you want to manage? Adjuvant radiotherapy after a wide local excision is the most important part, typically in the management of the breast cancer. So you must know stage 1, 2, 3, 4, what are the different protocols in the management. Cystadenocarcinoma of the pancreas, it is uh, uh, often associated with the history of pancreatitis and uh, uh, usually the clinical story is very subtle. Mainly it is the enlarging mass which will lead to the presenting features and there is no definitive way by which preoperatively you can be able to diagnose cystadenocarcinoma.